My dear viewer, welcome again to our series of 10 days of prayer. This is day 11, and I'm so happy that today is on a Sabbath morning, and allow me to greet you. Happy Sabbath. I'm glad that you could receive this um, program before even early in the morning before you go to church. I'm praying that may the Lord bless you. This may prepare you to go to worship, and I thank you that many of you are being blessed through this program. Right here from Nairobi Central SDA Church, we welcome you to be part of this very inspiring program, reviving us, reforming us, and fixing us uh, into the focus of the mission and allowing us to have an experience with the Lord. This Sabbath morning, I pray that may God be with you and reach out to you and lead your spirit, your heart, to receive all the blessings for this particular Sabbath morning. If you're watching us afternoon or evening, wherever you are, uh, we thank you and we request you to feel at the feet of Jesus, it's a moment with God. Now, today, I just want to share briefly because we have all the time to be in church and share, so I will be very brief today. I want to uh, just read a thought from the book of Psalms, verse uh, chapter that one, and then we'll go to prayer. Uh, Psalms that one. And I'm going to read verse 1, 2, 3, and 4. But before this, let's pray. Gracious Father in heaven, we thank you for the privilege of this power of prayer. As we speak from the scripture of Psalms chapter 31, we invite your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalms 31, verse 1 to 4. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock for an house of defense to save me. For thou at my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name sake, lead me and guide me. Verse number four. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privately for me. For thou art my strength. Powerful, powerful prayer. You see, the how of prayer is a privilege for you to report your situation to God. The how of prayer is a privilege, an opportunity to speak what you are feeling to God. The how of prayer is a privilege and an opportunity to tell God what you can't tell other people. Now, David comes before the Lord and he tells God, God, my life is in danger. My life is in danger. There are people, there are situations, there are circumstances, circumstances that are prevailing in my life and the spelling hopelessness in my life. In fact, I have been trusting in my own strength to manage them, but I've discovered I'm so weak, I can't change a thing, I can't stop anything. But I have not chosen to trust in you because I know in you, if I trust then I will be protected. There are people who are working so hard to shame me. Create situations and stories that are going to taint my name. But God, I am coming to you that I may shield myself and hide myself in thee. And I know if I have trusted in thee, I shall not be ashamed. 
And so, God, I'm seeking for deliverance. I'm seeking for protection. I'm seeking for something that you only can do that can keep me safe. And so, Lord, listen to me. Uh, the hour of prayer is a moment when you, you, as a person, ask God to listen to you. David says, bow down thine ear to me. That's verse number two. Listen to me, God. Um, God, please don't be busy there in heaven when I'm talking to you. Don't be on your phone, God, and chatting with other angels and other people. I'm talking to you, God. Listen to me. Hearken to me. It is me, Lord, appealing to you. Listen to my situation. Hmm. He says, I need deliverance, God. Please deliver me speedily. Because <laughs> the reason why, God, I'm addressing you this is because you are my strong rock. If I hide myself in thee, I know I'm sorted, God. Please, I have just come to you. You are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, God, I, I, I'm just desperate of you, God. This moment, uh, the hour of prayer is an hour when you want God to know that you are desperate of him. If God to stop all he's doing to attend to you. And says, lead me. For your own sake, lead me and guide me. God, I have been leading myself. I've been being led by people. I've discovered that my life is becoming messed up. Now, I, I'm coming to you, God. But just lead me, God. Show me the way. Show me the path. Speak to me. Tell me how you want my life to look like. And I'm here to listen and to order my life according to your will. And verse number four, very powerful. He says, pull me. Out of the net. You know, David is indeed creating a picture of exactly what happens in life. He says, I've been, I've been caged. I'm in a net. I've been trapped. I'm in a situation where I can't remove myself, God. I, I'm just depending on you that you may pull me. I'm inside the pit. Pull me. And you know, my friend, this morning, this Sabbath morning, many of us are experiencing life like we are inside that pit. You have been thrown into a pit and you're struggling and struggling to look for somebody who can come and pull us out of that pit. I can tell you for sure, the easiest way for you to be pulled out of that pit, speak to God. David says, I've tried my friends to pull me from this pit. No, no one. I've, I've tried my, my family members. No one is coming through for me. They, they mock me. They, they laugh at me. They, they're okay when I'm struggling in there. But God, when I come to you, I'm requesting to pull me. Pull me. And this Sabbath morning, I'm here to request you, dear viewer, that you can ask God and challenge him to pull you from that struggle. Pull you from that pit. Pull you from that pain. Pull you from that joblessness. Pull you from all that which is disturbing you this morning. And as you seek him in prayer and walk into church to worship, the Lord shall give you peace in your heart. So just come along with me as we pray. Brothers in heaven, we thank you for this Sabbath morning. We thank you for touching our hearts, reminding us that we are your children and that we can trust in you. Many of us have trusted in chariots and others have trusted in horses. But this morning, Lord, we choose to trust in your name. And Lord, we have a very specific request this morning. We are in a pit. Various pits in this life. Many of us are in economic pits. Man of us is, is, is married to pits. Ma, 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 others who are struggling with sicknesses and all manner of situations. In the, we are feeling you have been thrown into a pit, a struggling, suffocating. No one can come to help us. But we are praying with the devil this morning. Lord, pull us out of this pit. Pull us out of this pit, my father. And I pray that you may reach out to every single of my viewers this morning, this afternoon, or this evening, from wherever you are. The Lord, you can see our struggle, our situation, and come and pull us from the pit of tribulations, pit of pain, pit of disappointments, pit of brokenness of the heart, pit of all kinds of situations in this life, that we may rejoice in you because you are our rock and our fortress. In thee we trust. So, Lord, Meet your people today.
that as we worship, we thank you, we pray for the services that close the globe today. May you speak through your men servants and may you speak to all your children that we may see you in a new way. Receive your power and feel the strength that it comes from you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, dear viewer, for being with us. And thank you so much for every single day following through the programs, working with us. I request you again, if you have not clicked the button of subscribing to our channel, please do that every time when we have other programs, it will be just be reminding you, but also request you to like our programs and share with as many people. Can I, can I tell you, you are not the only one who, who is experiencing the pit challenge, but many other people are having pit experience, and it takes you to share this hope with them. Kindly just share with as many as you can to remove them from the pit experience. God be with you.